Welcome to Second Chance. Good morning, players. Hiya. Uh, Good-looking group of uh, contestants. As you know, in this game, you're going to get two chances to answer every question. You'll have five seconds to give me your first answer. Then I'm going to show you our second chance answers. Now, you can stay with your original choice and try to earn three points. But if you're wrong, or if you think you're wrong, you can take a second chance for one point. For each point you earn today, you'll get one spin at our fabulous Second Chance bonus board. And up there, you'll see cash and fantastic prizes and devils. And they're well-named because if you hit a devil, you lose everything you've won up to that point. And four devils put you out of the game permanently. Now, the player with the most money wins the game, so try to earn as many points as you can. Here's your first question, and good luck. What is Walter Mondale's home state? The home state of Walter Mondale, five seconds. <laughs> Let me tell you right now that at least one of you is wrong. Now let's take a look at the second chance answers. Players, Walter Mondale's home state is either Minnesota, Wisconsin, or Missouri. And Maggie, I'm going to start with you. Would you like to stay with your first choice for three points? Would you like to maybe see something up there you hadn't thought of? Take a second chance for one. Uh, I, think I'll, I think I'll stay where I am. You're going to stay where you are? All right, Jack, come over to you and ask the same question. Stand pat or take a second chance. Remember, if you're right on the second chance, it's worth one point. I think I'm right, too. I'm going to stay with my answer. All right. Lynn, they both think you're wrong. You're going to take a second chance? I think I'm wrong, too. <laughs> what, what are you going to change to? To Missouri. You're going to change to Missouri. Jack, tell everybody the right answer. Minnesota. Minnesota. <laughs> well, remember. Two points for Maggie. Three points for Jack. And Lynn shut out the first time around. Plenty of time left in the game. And here comes question number two. Who was the first man ever to win two Academy Awards as Best Actor. The first man ever to win two Oscars for Best Actor. Five seconds. One, two, three. The answers come up, and I will tell you right now that at least two of you are right. Now let's take a look at the Second Chance Answers player. First man ever to win two Academy Awards was either Spencer Tracy Clark Gable or Gary Cooper? And I'm going to start with Jack. Oh, would you like to stay where you are? You're welcome. Or would you like to go for a second chance, Jack? I'm really terrible at these things. I'm going to stay with my answer. You're going to stay I'm where right you are. Right. All right. Lynn, what about you? Would you like to stand pat or would you like to go for a second chance? Maybe you haven't thought of one of those. No, I'm going to stay with my answer. You're going to stay where you are. <laughs> Maggie, two confident opponents. Yeah, really. How confident of, are you of that first choice? Or would you like to take a second chance? It's not that I'm confident about mine. I'm just not confident about the other one, so I'll stay. What's the right answer, Maggie? Spencer Tracy Hall. Is right. All three players. Two points for Maggie. Three points for Jack. Three points for Lynn. Now everybody's on the board. That's the way the game is played. Players, your last question in round one is... We've all sung about it, but what does the term alma mater really mean? Five seconds. I'll spare you my singing of it. Curious writing. One, two, Jack, I need an answer. There it is. All right. I will tell you right now that one of you is in big trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at the second chance answers, players. Alma mater really means either our mother, foster mother, or mother of all. And I'm going to begin with Lynn. Would you like a second chance, Lynn? I would like a second chance. And which one would you like to change to? I think I would like to change to... Don't you wish you'd studied Latin harder than I wish it was. Yes, our mother. You're going to change to our mother. All right, now... Maggie, got a little bit of information. You may stay where you are, or you may take a second 
fence. I just hope I remember which, which one I wrote. I'll, I'll stay where I am. All right. Jack, you next. <laughs> you need a second chance, Jack. That's right, I definitely do. What are you going to change to? I'm going to change it to our mother. To our mother. You know what the correct answer is? Foster mother. Oh. Nobody hit it. That was the last question. And let me tell you where you stand. Lynn with three spins, Jack and Maggie tied with six, and right now it's turned those points into dollars. So here comes the fabulous second chance bonus board. Open it up, gentlemen. Fast <laughs> prizes, doubles, they're all up there players. For every point you've earned, you get one spin at the bonus board. And in this round, that board contains over $10,000 in cash and exciting prizes. And all you have to do is say, stop! Now, let's hope that it doesn't happen to you. Because if you hit that devil, you lose everything you've won up until that point. If you hit a prize, you get the prize. If you hit cash, you get that. Now, as you're spinning, anytime you think a devil may be the next thing to come up, you can elect to pass your remaining spins to the player with the most money and force that player to risk everything. Let me tell you where you stand once again. Lynn with three, Jack and Maggie tied with six. Lynn, we begin with a player with the fewest spins, and that is you. You're in control of the board. Watch out for those devils, and good luck to you. Call the stop when you feel something good. Stop! $600, and that was good. <laughs> That's where you stand, Lynn. You've got two spins left. You can continue to play and build up, or you can pass. I'll play. I thought so. Stop! <laughs> Up jumps the devil, Lynn, and he just swallowed $600. All gone. Okay, one spin left, Lynn. You need money to win. On the other hand, you don't want to pick up another devil. I'll leave it to you. Play or pass? Play. You're going to play. Okay, there's still $2,500 up there, Lynn. Stop! It's a prize. Let's see what you've won. This time it's a Magnavox 25-inch color television for $1,095. That's not bad. The devil doesn't have time to get that one because you're through with spinning, and so we move over to Jack with six spins. Good luck, Jack. Okay, get some money. Stop! One Woo! out, no. Oh, that's it. That's some money and up it came. Five spins left. You're in second place by $95. Jack, play or pass? I'm going to play a couple more times. Okay, watch out for the devil. Stop! Ooh, by one. There's a prize. And this time, a full-length fur coat. It's worth $1,498. You're single or married, Jack? Those devils worry me, but I'm going to try one more time. You're going to avoid that time. question and take one more. Go ahead. Stop! Ah, let's see what you got this time. It's a trip to Mexico City, and it's worth $704. Jack, two spins left. You're $3,202. You can play or pass. I'm not going to risk the devil. Don't pass him. I'm going to pass him. You're going to pass. When you pass, you pass to the player with the most money, and that is Lynn. Lynn, you've got three more chances. Now, you must take these three spins that are past you unless you hit a devil. Let's see if you can build up that total. Jack thinks you're going to hit a devil. Maybe you'll get $2,500. Stop! $500. <laughs> Two more must spins, Lynn. Good luck. Stop! All right. Jack has given you $1,500. You're at $2,595, and he's got some second thoughts about his strategy. One more spin to beat, Lynn. Stop! Oh. And let's take a look. You have picked up a week at Hawaii's Ala Moana Hotel. It's valued at $870. That runs your total up to $3,465. Puts you in first place, courtesy of Jack. Maggie, six spins. Haven't seen a devil for a while. Let's hope we don't now. Good luck. $500 in cash, Maggie. You are in third place. Play or pass? I'll go. You'll go. Stop. Stop. Uh, let's take a look this time. It's a vacation for two in San Francisco, Maggie. It's worth $525. Still in third place with $1,025. Four spins to go, Maggie. Uh, play or we'll pass? Go. We'll go. You're going to play. Stop. $600 in cash. Maggie, you're up to $1,625. Three spins left. If you hit a devil, it's all gone. You're still in third place. Play I gotta pass. go. I gotta go. Stop. Hundred dollars again. Two thousand two hundred twenty-five dollars, Maggie. Two spins left. 
You're in third place. Go. You're going to play it. I gambler. $500 in cash. $2,725, Maggie. One more spin. With this spin, you could pick up as much as $2,500, or you could hit a devil, or you can pass. I, uh, Play or pass, Maggie? I'll go. You're, I'll go. You're going to go for it. Could lose everything. Stop. <laughs> Maggie, you take over the lead. $3,725. We'll be right back to see if you can hang on to that lead and avoid the devil. Oh. I give all three players a second chance right after this word.